Hi guys, my name is Eric, from Invensys Learning, we are back again with a set of tutorials on project management. Today in this session, we will start with one of the most important topic, work breakdown structure. So let us start with a tutorial with the agenda. We will start with the definition of WBS and its usage, then we will understand the types of WBS and post that, we will discuss the tasks included in creating WBS. After that we will understand how to create WBS and finally we will conclude this session with the example of WBS. Sounds interesting right? Let's get started. WBS stands for Work Breakdown Structure, the definition of WBS in a project management is. Work Breakdown Structure is a mechanism of converting the project into a deliverable-oriented breakdown and converting the project into smaller components. A work breakdown structure is a key project deliverable that organizes the team's work into manageable sections. Now, we will try to understand the definition of WBS by PMBOK. The WBS is a hierarchical decomposition of the total scope of work to be carried out by the project team to accomplish the project objectives and create the required deliverables. This clearly defines the WBS is used to define the tasks into deliverables and work among team. A well-defined WBS allows resources to be allocated to specific activities, assists in the creation of a realistic timetable, and simplifies the calculation of a dependable budget. It requires the project manager, team members, and customers to outline the processes necessary to create and deliver the product or service. In other words, a work breakdown structure acts as a roadmap for navigating complex tasks. A project may consist of multiple stages or smaller subproject and even those subprojects and might be divided into deliverables, subdeliverables and work packages as a result of WBS. You get clarity on the specifics required to complete every area of your project. Till now, we have seen the definition of WBS and its importance. Now, we will understand the types of WBS. There are 3 types of work breakdown structure: verb-oriented WBS, noun-oriented WBS, time-phase WBS. Now, let us discuss these types in detail. Verb-oriented WBS. This is a process-oriented WBS which defines the project and specifies the deliverable in terms of the tasks that must be completed to create the deliverable. The advantage of using a verb-oriented WBS in combination with your deliverables-oriented WBS is that it gives a complete description of work from a functional standpoint, resulting in a more cohesive project scope. It may also be used to guarantee that high-quality practices are in place throughout the duration of your project. So let us discuss about deliverable-oriented WBS. Noun-oriented WBS. This is a deliverable-oriented WBS which specifies project work in terms of the components physical or functional that comprise the deliverable. A deliverables-oriented work breakdown structure is especially effective in assisting project managers in seeing the overall scope of a project and how each deliverable is connected to one another. They can also give a natural overview of work for different management levels, allowing for more accurate cost and resource predictions. Now, let us start with time phase WBS. Time phase WBS. A time phased work breakdown structure is one that is utilized on very prolonged projects. It divides the project into key phases rather than tasks. These are the types of WBS used in the industry. Now, we will start with terminologies that are included in creating the WBS. Clearly, a work breakdown structure is a very adaptable tool. A simple number list, a basic tree diagram, or even a Gantt chart might be used. When a Gantt chart is part of a broader project management tool, the work breakdown structure may be used to plan, allocate, monitor, and track your team's progress. So here to track the progress of project WBS includes a few terminologies. So let's try to discuss them in detail. The terms that include in WBS are WBS dictionary, task number in its description, task owner, task dependency, cost of task, estimated timelines, task status. Let us discuss each one in detail. WBS dictionary WBS Dictionary is a document that contains extensive information about each component of the work breakdown structure's deliverables, activities, and schedule. The WBS Dictionary defines each component of the WBS in terms of milestones, 
deliverables, activities, scope, and, on occasion, dates, resources, expenses, and quality. The main purpose of the WBS dictionary is to define the work in depth to assist develop the product that will be received when the project is completed. Work packages are the work breakdown structure's most basic level. They indicate the list of tasks that must be completed in order to complete the specific unit of work. Task number and its description. Giving numbers to tasks will help us to identify the tasks easily, and description will help us to define the task and its time of execution in the WBS. Task owner. This is one of the most important things in WBS, where the task owner is either the head of the organization or department, who will monitor the task from beginning to end and ensure its execution properly. Task dependency. The term task dependency in project management is nothing but the task or the final deliverable is delayed due to another task, and this task is known as the dependency task. In simple terms, if a task is dependent on the status of other tasks is known as task dependency. Cost of task. Each task will have a cost connected with it. You should make a note of that in order to keep track of your budget. Estimated timelines. This is one of the most important phases of the project WBS. In this, each team member associated with a task will provide the manager with the estimated timeline. This will help the manager to have an overview of the task timing. Task status. After having the estimated timelines, it is crucial to monitor the task and this task status will help the project manager to track the task timelines. Till now, we have seen the terminologies that are involved in the work breakdown structure. Now we will try to understand how to create WBS. Creating a work breakdown structure requires few inputs and through which we can create a WBS. WBS starts by taking the inputs and decomposing them into the WBS. Here the inputs that are required for creating the WBS are project management plan, project documents, and other factors such as enterprise factors and organizational assets. Now, the major part of creating the WBS is the decomposition of inputs. Decomposition is a strategy for splitting and subdividing a project scope and deliverables into smaller, more manageable chunks. A WBS structure can be constructed in a variety of ways. Some common techniques include the top-down approach, the use of organization-specific standards, and the usage of work breakdown structure templates. This will assist the managers to create the WBS, and as a result of this decomposition, we will get the outputs like WBS, work package, planning package, and WBS dictionary. The work package is the work defined at the lowest level of the WBS. Work package can be estimated and controlled in terms of cost and duration. The degree of control required to properly manage the project typically guides the amount of breakdown. The amount of information for work packages will vary depending on the project size and complexity. Thus a manager can create the WBS. So now, let us start with in samples of WBS. We will use simple projects to understand how the WBS looks like. Let us take an example of constructing a garage. Previous information, a person constructed a house with a garden area of 700 square feet. After a few years of house construction, he thought of building a garage in the garden area with a dimensions of 300 square feet. You are hired as a project manager to distribute the work and maintain the project finished on time and within budget. So let us see the WBS of this project based on deliverables and phase oriented. Let us first start with the deliverable based WBS. Here construction of garage has three major phases and those phases will be in level one. The phases that are included in constructing a garage are interior, foundation, exterior. Interior will have a work share of 40% and 40% with foundation and the rest 20% with exterior. The budget for this construction is $100,000. Now we have seen the first level of planning. Now we will start with the subsections of project. Starting with interior, it is further divided into two tasks, plumbing and electrical works, with a work share of 20% each, where the project manager will hire plumber and electrical contractor, and the budget for these two tasks will be $20,000 each. Now, we will discuss the foundation phase, where it is further divided into two tasks, basement and pillar foundation. These two tasks requires labor crew and construction supervisor respectively. 
The budget for these two tasks are $20,000 each. Now, finally we will discuss about the exterior work, which has two tasks involved in it. They are masonry work and painting, each has 10% work share in the project and these tasks require, masonry contractor and a painting contractor respectively, and budget for these two tasks are $10,000 each. These all phases and tasks inclusively known as a leg in WBS. This is all about deliverable base WBS, now, we will start with phase base WBS. Unlike the deliverable base WBS, phase base WBS, will be defined with the phases, here for constructing the garage, it has four major phases, they are. Design. Hiring. Construction. And inspection. Design phase consists of two tasks they are, permits and designs. Hiring phase includes the hiring of housing contractor, plumber and electrician. Construction phase includes the construction of interior and exterior. Inspection phase consists of masonry and painting works to make sure the garage finished. Here in this phase based WBS, we will get the overview of tasks divided according to the phases. With this we will conclude our session on WBS in project management. Interested to become a certified project management professional? And don't know where to start with? Don't worry. We got it covered. Invensys Learning has been reviewed and approved by the PMI Authorized Training Partner Program to provide a four-day instructor-led PMP certification training that will ensure the essential 35 PDUs at the end of the training. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section and do subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos on latest trending technologies.